Hello. In our last episode, we were working at the brewery. And we have both types of beer under production. So today we're going to hap happen. We're going to hop into the Zerion 5000. Zeron. And we're going to get out and do some heavy field work. We need to get the grass flipped so that we can make some silage bales. What? You love Farm Sim. What are you talking about? Last time I looked, you loved Farm Sim. Yes. So I'm looking forward to seeing the new Farm Sim 22. We are only like 18, 19 days away, something like that. <laughs> Shut up. And, um,. So I'm excited to see how it's going to look uh, and hopefully maybe even have some performance increases, though I don't know, who knows. It'd uh, be nice to see that, though. Um, but in the meantime, we've got work to do on this farm. Now, I don't know. This farm probably will be replaced. I think what we're going to do is uh, once the season's over, we're going to sell off all the beer. And we're going to get into wine production, or grape production anyway, um, in France. So we're going to take the funds from this map, and we're going to move them over to the, uh, to the new French region. Um, because I don't think this map's coming over. It might, but it's probably going to be a while before it does. So we'll begin doing industries in France with this series. And once again, looking forward to the new textures. The new American map looks amazing. Well, I watched the, the recent trailer that came out. Um, and honestly, the France map looks really good, too. They're, they're doing some gorgeous stuff. Yes, honey? Serious question. I, nope. <laughs> Would you like it to? My wife, my wife wanted to know if, if the copy of FS22 comes with a new wife because... My copy of FS19 did. Apparently, she would prefer that. <laughs> She's had enough. Oh, like you are so... Like your life is so difficult. Yes, like making you play Minecraft 24-7. She, uh... Her horse... One of her horses, um... Decided, like, that she was going to come out of the stall whilst Moni was in the stall and she came out and trampled Moni. So, um, or actually was the, was it the bullpen? Yeah, she had her in the bullpen so she could clean her stall and she was walking out of the bullpen and the horse charged and just walked right over her. It's a little horse. It's a, she will be a full size horse, but she's only, how old is she? Se eight, seven months. Yeah. So she's not full size. Thankfully yet she would have killed Moni if she was full size. But uh, she uh, trampled on her leg, and, and uh, so my wife has been off work for two days because her knee is all messed up, but she's going to have to go back tomorrow So, because um, they are desperate for help there. Um, so my wife's kind of stuck. She has to go back. But, yeah, the horse trampled her. Well, <laughs> so all oh, the joys of horses. That's not necessarily an uncommon thing. So. Not when you're working what? With young stock. I didn't realize you called young horses young stock. Young stalks. Well, lady's good, yeah. She's older, though, too. Yeah, but the other ones will catch up. Is Cuddles good? Good. So my wife has... Wait, how many horses do you have? You have five. Four. She's got the three babies. No, you've got five. She's got Kisses, Alyssa, and Cuddles. They're all under a year old. Uh, but Kisses is going up for sale. Um, I'll actually post the video on my channel so you guys can see it too. But we're going to make a video and take some photos of her tomorrow, actually. Um as we get her ready for sale. 
and uh, she's a absolutely beautiful Arabian. But anyway, so my wife will be down to four. Then she has a two-year-old horse, not quite two years old, but she'll be two this year, uh, named Lady next year. I love Lady. She is like a, like a pet dog. She's the friendliest horse ever. You can call her, and she comes over, and she lets you pet her, and she just like she likes to sniff your hands, and she just she's really really friendly. Um, and then uh, she also has a really nice f- that she got from the lady at the barn. She has a horse named Serenity, who is a good riding horse. Also, these are all Arabs, um, so they're just beautiful horses. But Lady is going to be an absolutely stunning horse when she's fully grown. I mean, yeah, she already is. Everybody that sees her is like, oh, wow. Like, she's just got, what do they call, what do they call that, honey? Good confirmation? So she just, she's a very beautiful horse. So anyway, my wife has many horses, but she is going to kind of, she's going to use them for breeding and sell the, sell the uh, offspring and then also hopefully train them to be ridden and stuff like that, so. You're not going to do it yourself? No. <laughs> but uh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful horses. I almost knocked my own fence over. Is that my house? No, that's not my house. Okay. That's the neighbors who live way too close. I'm trying to figure out the best, most efficient way to do this. This feels a little weird because it's, it's awkwardly shaped, but I think <coughs> we'll run up and down first, and then we'll come back, and I'll have to finish off that little part. I hope we get my Volkswagen back. I love that car. Le petite voiture. Actually, though, it is a German car, so obviously... The Beetle, the Volkswagen. I had the speedometer set at not, at six. We could be going nine. I'm like, man, this is going really slow. Duh. So we're gonna rip this up, tear it up, and get it ready for a. Planting grass. Now, people, some people have commented and said, well, why would you plant grass? Plant something that you can... Well, the reason why I'm planting grass, so they put, put a money crop in there. Grass is a money crop because you make silage out of it. And so I don't know why people were thinking I'm not going to make money out of this, but we're going to make some decent... I think the last time we made $250,000, which is more than we would have made from regular crops. It's about probably 20 or 30% more. It's a bit of work, though, but. We make a lot of bales of it. And unlike other crops, it counts as a stage of free fertilizer. So we'll, we get that first stage of fertilizer by doing the crops like that. And then, and then we get, um. We have the ability to sell it, so it's pretty cool stuff. Actually, it works out well. I'm ha- I, I'm always happy with the results. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this. I will catch you guys in a couple minutes when we're ready to move on to the next phase. So we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has taken about an hour and a half, hour and ten minutes. Sorry to get done with our uh, cultivation, but I'm going to take this tractor back to the uh, barn here. We're going to wash it up. Uh, we got the whole thing cultivated, so we we'll probably need to do some repairing on it. So um, let's go ahead and get that done. And then we're going to grab the cedar and get out there and plant the grass. It's still early autumn. We might even have it pop up before uh, the fall is over and be able to mow. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so we're going to take a look and, and uh, figure that out. But I don't. I think it probably won't grow enough that we can mow it. So um, let's go ahead and fix these up. And I know 
don't know if I can get uh, this thing parked back in the garage. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to back it in. It's been a while. Uh, so we're going to repair this. 100 bucks, and let's take a look. Can we get the tractor? No, I'm going to back it up. And we're going to repair this. Nope. There we go. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and wash these up. There we go. I was on stream and still am. People are watching me record. It's kind of a weird feeling. Uh, but we were talking about um, fish and chips, bringing back good memories of my trips to Simone in England. And uh, now she's here, and we no longer get to have fish and chips. <laughs> you can still get it here, but it's not as good. It depends on where you go. Some places have great fish and chips. Of course, being in the northeast uh, in Ohio, uh, we do have walleye and perch, but they tend to be a little bit drier. And my wife and I had a, a disappointment. We had some friends recommend this um, winery to us that had um, fit, they had uh, perch tacos, and it sounded really good. And uh, it was not. It was they were just really dry, um, and it was not a great experience. And I was kind of disappointed. And so um, it is. It, it is hard to cook it just right though, because perch can, tends to dry out if you're not careful. Um, it's almost like a catfish type meat. Um, and then of course white. You know we have uh, the uh, walleye too. But I don't. Walleye's not very good. I don't know. I just there's so many weird bad fishes in Ohio that don't taste good <laughs> and a couple good ones all right so we gonna, we're going to change order grass for the winter and we're going to run over here and grab some fertilizer where did I put oh you know what they're over here I think I do I have any packets of them left yes I do let's see what's on the shelves yeah it's not it's not great so Yeah, mods take a long time to get reinstalled. We have a bunch of fertilizers, so I forget how to do this. I think I have to call these up. Um, I want herbicide, liquid fertilizer. Nope. How do I get out of farm? Farm Project's liquid. I need to get... <laughs> Always watching Mike Wazowski. Let's see. I need to get... Uh, hmm... I need to get those out. Oh, well, nope. Nope. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, oh, well, I'm just going to grab it from somewhere else. I, I hate to do that, but I don't I don't know how to get it to work, so we're just going to grab from here. I love catfish. That's making me hungry. I can't, I can't do it. These things, they don't work great with this. Uh. Okay, seed is working. There we go. Fill, fill the seed up. And then we're going to have to grab. I need to get that fertilizer. I'm not sure. This thing is not great for this <laughs> setup. It was all wrong. Got all the grass seed in there. And uh, so we'll grab that. Hang on one second, folks. All right. See if I could just get a little closer. Nope. Mm. These tall ones are never easy to get uh, to fill. 
Ugh. I'll try to push it in backwards and see if I can get. We have to get it right next to the the thing. I need to get the thing next to the thing. Come on. There we go. So I'll never remember because by the time I play this again, we'll probably be ready to sell everything and move on to uh, the next farm. But I think that's what we're going to do. I had mentioned that on the stream um, that most likely what, when Farm Sim 22 comes out, this farm will get sold. Uh, we'll probably bring some of the bigger equipment over, but we're going to buy a farm in France and try our hand at grapes um, and some of the other products there. So... So now we have to plant all of our fields with grass. I have uh, plant. We've got everything cultivated, and now we're going to put grass down. The reason why we're putting grass down, once again, it's twofold. Uh, we get a fertilizer in the spring, plus we are also going to get a nice um, uh, clutch of... <laughs> that's not the right word. <laughs> of uh, We're going to get a nice round of uh, uh, silage to sell. And that'll be worth, but I think last time we made about 250000 maybe 150000 something. But we made a nice chunk of change on silage. So we're going to have that going for us again. So we're going to do that. Um, so that is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to get this all planted, and uh, and then we will be back to put all of our toys away and call it a night. But I am glad to have this done this is always a big step on the farm obviously with seasons you only have a couple days a year where you actually get out and do field work so this is one of those field work days um and once again we, we're gonna this is where holding on to all the money we make this year and then we're gonna sell the farm and we'll total it all up and we'll decide what we're gonna do as far as moving to france but we're going to hopefully set up a very successful farm there, and uh, we'll say goodbye to the Netherlands and uh, move on there. But like I said, we'll continue class farm just in another iteration. So, because um, I am trying to find out or figure out the best way to transition from uh, Farm Sim 19 over to Farm Sim 22, and I know right away there aren't going to be a bunch of maps available. I know there's, there's going to be a few, and there's a couple uh, guys that are working on them. But I think with all the new systems that are going into place, I bet you people are going to have trouble with their maps. And it's going to take a while to get them put in the right way. So, anyway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and I will catch you guys once I'm finished with it. And we will see you at the other end. And uh, catch you then. Bye. Well, it's been a busy day, Mr. and Mrs. YouTube. Uh, I have been out here working my buns off, hanging out with the guys on the stream. Once again, if you are uh, new to the channel, be sure to check out my Twitch channel. I do stream there fairly frequently uh it is www.twitch.tv slash v blue guitar you can find the link in the description it's much easier to do that um come and hang out with us we average about 50 people sometimes more sometimes less uh we've got a lot of new viewers lately so it's fun to have everybody on and it'd be good to see you guys out there so once again follow the link in the description monday through thursday around eight or nine o'clock is when i start streaming that's p.m eastern standard time but lately I've been kind of doing day streams, too. As we get into the winter, I don't have as much going on. So I try to do some daytime streams, too, to get you guys in there that are either on the other side of the world or what have you. We're going to clean this up and put it away. We have all of our grass planted. We've worked for hours, two and a half hours, to get the fields done in real time. Let's go ahead and fix this thing up. Clean it up a little bit. We'll clean off the condor bird. Clean up the track, VC. Looking good. Looking kind of good. You be looking kind of good. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this thingy. Repair that and tab, 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 tab. There we go. Repair that. Yep. Good. We're all repaired up, and we're going to put this away. I think this goes back here, if I'm not mistaken. It'd be hard to do this in real life, like, not being able to get out. Though I think they have cameras that help, but still, it's, like, a little tricky. It's tricky to back your cedar, back your cedar into the garage. It's tricky. It's tricky. And it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go ahead and run over to the brewery and check the numbers, see how everything is going over there. We should be able to produce some beer uh, and get it loaded onto the truck. Um, why? I don't know, but we should. All right. We're going to grab the Volkswagen. Good little Volkswagen. I love this color. I would love to have a Volkswagen that's like these colors, the white interior, white white walled wheels, gray blue paint. Do you love it? Cuz I love it. All right, so in the back, let's see what we got. Let's make as many beer fossils as we can. That's it. So I don't want to do that yet. Uh, it's active. It's on. We can only make three, so just leave it. We need more. It's going to take a while, huh? Oh, boy. They don't give us much room here. How many are here? This might be able to do a lot because we have 4%. Okay. I don't want to buy him. I want to... Wait, what's going on here? Where did the... I'll get him a second. Spawn pallet. Nope. Four pallets. Wrong button. Ta-da! It's four pallets. <laughs> and we'll just... I'm just going to start spawning them, but I don't... That's that's what they look like. We've done these already. Good to Besser. Let's do one more. We might as well grab these then. So we'll have seven pallets. Did it do it? Yes, it did. So we got three pallets of those. One, two, three. Sweet. They're smaller, it looks like. But, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and head, head on back. So, I'm happy with that. We're making beer. We've got the grass planted. So the farm is already turned around, ready for next year. So pretty much now it's just a matter of waiting. Uh, like I said before, though, I think we're going to, once we get to Farm Sim 22, we're going to end up moving to France. So we'll finish off all of this beer and we'll sell it, see what we get for it. And then um, see how much we have left over for equipment. And we'll probably sell the farm and the brewery business and see how much money we can pull in all together. Uh, to pass on to our next farm because it's going to be time to move to France. So, 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I know this episode's a little shorter than usual, but that's because we're out of things to do. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time on Kloss Farm as the season is ending. Uh, it was nice hanging out with you guys, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And I uh, can't wait to see you guys again. Bye.